I had this patient, his first name was Shirley, which I always thought was so cute. And I walked into his room one night about two o'clock in the morning because he was having a, a regular heartbeat on the monitor. And he woke up and looked at me and he said, are you an angel? <laughs> I've been a nurse for 43 years, and I've been at St. Elizabeth. I just had my 15 year anniversary. I actually started as a nursing assistant and taking care of people. It was just what I felt like I was meant to do. I think because my mother was very influential on my life. I grew up in Jackson County, which is a, a very economically deprived area of Kentucky. I did not realize we were poor because she was just a genius when it came to taking care of her family. And my mother grew the biggest garden you ever saw. And all summer we worked to preserve food. We had a tin roof on our house and we would dry fruit up there and we would dry green beans and um, anything that she could get, she would somehow either can it or dry it because we didn't have a freezer back, you know, in those days. And all she ever wanted for us was for us to have an education. It was very, very important to her. It, she was just such a, a, a role model, I think, is the best word for her, for my mom. She raised seven children and never raised her voice. She had her seventh child when she was 28 years old and she was very nurturing and just taught me a lot about caring about people. I met my husband when I was 17 years old. I went to a program called Upward Bound when I was in high school, which allowed children from Eastern Kentucky and other areas to participate in a college program and actually earn college credits. My friend and I went down to the cafeteria to eat and there was a stairwell on each end of the cafeteria and we were coming down the stairwell and my husband was coming down the stairwell and I said, that's the man I'm going to marry. <laughs> and I didn't even know his name. <laughs> we married in December of 1969, so we've just last year celebrated our 45th wedding anniversary. Yes, I was 17 when I got married. <laughs> that, that first look at him all those years ago, it hasn't changed. I can still see him now, and I don't see that 68-year-old man. I see the 22-year-old guy that I saw. Uh, in 1969. I don't think patients understand how much nurses care about doing a really, really, really good job. We don't want our patients to not have, you know, their needs met. And when we don't do those things or aren't able to do those things in a timely manner, we go home at the end of the day carrying that with us. I've never had a patient that I couldn't get along with. I always looked at the situation and then changed my demeanor and my approach to fit the patient's needs. And always, they came first for me. My patients always came first. When I teach students today, I teach them to go in and touch that person when they're greeting them. Even if it's just a light tap on the shoulder, just a finger on the shoulder, immediately you're giving them the message that you want to be there and that you care about them. You can't do that standing at the doorway looking into the room. If you treat people like it's someone you love, you can't go wrong. And regardless of what walk of life they come from, I've taken care of indigents to astronauts. And when they're ill, they're all the same. They need you and they appreciate everything that you do for them as a nurse.